this video we're going to look at picture in picture now I got a special request to make this video and I know you youtubers out there need that picture in picture action to get your face up on the corner of the screen it's really quite easy to do now you're not going to see my face in the corner of the screen because I don't want to scare you so much but in order to get a picture in picture what we need to do is a couple of things now again I'm gonna repeat if you don't know how I've got this stuff on the screen go and watch the basics one video it will teach you everything about getting your movie started getting your clips inside Lightworks and then moving them around and editing them so don't try to guess what to do it's going to be too confusing so really a picture in picture is one picture on top of another picture or if you like a movie clip on top of another movie clip now you can see I have got my face here and if I play it you'll see it kind of you know, plays for just a few seconds it's not the longest clip in the world really what you want to do is take the video of your face or your talking and have that already imported on top of everything else that you need so for most youtubers that will be a screencast of their computer screen plus a camera capturing their face so let's take this Lombard Street clip over here I'm just gonna make it a little bit longer and you can see I've made my mistake I'm not following my own videos let me just undo that disable the audio and do that again so let's take that Lombard Street so that it's a nice long clip for this uh, video we won't really be messing around with the audio so what I want to do is I want to take this video which is me and place it on top of the Lombard Street video which is here so pressing A on my keyboard I'll get back to the start now of course if I just pick this clip up and put it down all I'm doing is actually overwriting the Lombard Street that's actually not what I want to do so let me just undo that I'm going to right click anywhere on the tracks and I'm gonna go tracks and add video because what I want to do is add a new video track and it's important that my video track is on top of the original video track so let's get my face and I'm going to put it in there let me just close the preview window and you can see there's a problem here I mean, it's a big problem because all I've done is put my face on top of that clip so it's not really picture in picture it's picture on picture so I'm going to go to the VFX I'm going to click on the plus and I want to choose the DVE the digital video effect and what I'm going to do because we've got way too much choice here and you have a whole bunch of if you like picture in picture ones so if I was to for example just double click this you can see it moves my picture and puts it at an angle I've seen some picture in pictures that do this myself I don't prefer this I think it's not a nice look so what I tend to do is I go directly to the 2d DVE and I'm just gonna double click that and it seems like nothing happens until I go over to this little part where it says scale and go to the master I'm just going to move it in a bit like so now depending on your picture in picture you know we we really want it at a slightly smaller scale so about there and then what I want to do is just move it until it's exactly where I want it to be so that would be most probably where I would put a picture in picture either there or on the right hand side but for this video I'm going to put it here now if we were to play this you can see that when it reaches the Lombard Street scene my face is going to be at the top and I'm talking away and that's how you do picture in picture now another request I got was to show how to put images or pictures into our movies and for this to happen all you need to do is make sure you've got the picture and that you've imported it in so you'll see that I've got this picture of the Golden Gate Bridge now if I was to double click that Lightworks treats it exactly the same as a movie clip so if you play it you'll see it starts playing now one of the problems is that the clip is going to play for a huge amount of time 40 or so seconds in fact so if I was to use my keyboard press a and let's say we wanted to put the let me disable that track let's say we wanted to put the Golden Gate Bridge into the middle of there I can easily do that just by clicking on the insert and what you'll notice is that you get an incredibly long clip as I said 40 seconds so it completely takes over your movie so let's just undo that so what I normally do with a image that I want to put in my video is very simply press my spacebar press an I press an O just so that we have a shorter version of it 
and then insert that into the movie, which is far more workable than a 40 second clip. And if we were to play this movie now, you're going to see that we just get an image in there like this. Now, one thing that you might not like is that you have the black bars. Now, what I would advise is go back to Google or wherever you got your pictures from and get a slightly better shaped picture without the black bars. If in case you have to use the picture that you've got, again, we can fix that by going to the VFX plus go to your DVEs and what we're going to do is throw in a 2D DVE here and what we can do is we can scale it up a bit just to get rid of that black bar or whatever issue that you've got. So that's a really quick way of fixing a problem with a photograph as well. So what you'll find is the 2D DVE is one of the most useful effects that Lightworks has and you'll use it a lot especially if you're throwing pictures into there. Again, just going further, it's also possible to take a picture and use it as a picture in picture or a picture on picture kind of scenario and that is quite useful as well especially if you need to show something on the screen which you only have a photograph of that might be like a you know a review video on YouTube and you want to show the product in the air above you or by the side of you as you're talking so in that case we'll just enable that video track that we had our picture in picture and what we're going to do is we're simply going to pick up the Golden Gate Bridge and we're going to throw it down any way we want to and again we have to do exactly what we did before which is the VFX we have to go back to our DVEs a 2D DVE on that and then scale it down a little bit like so and then we can move it wherever we want to so that we have a picture on video like so. So hopefully this video has been useful for those of you who want to get your face onto the screen or a picture onto the screen.